This is Optimal Living Daily, Relationships, Episode 15, Seven Behaviors to Stop Tolerating from Others, by Mark Chernoff of MarkandAngel.com. And I'm Joss Marie, your very own personal narrator. On this show, I take some of the best blogs you can find on relationships and simply read them to you, like an audiobook or audio blog. And one of our regular authors, Mark Chernoff, is recognized as having one of the most popular personal development blogs ever. It's called Mark and Angel Hack Life, markandangel.com. Mark and Angel both surprised us by taking the time to narrate their own content for our podcast, Optimal Living Daily. That was for the special week of the 500th episode. It's really cool. You can hear their voices so you'll know what they sound like. You can hear Angel's reading in episode 501 and Mark's in episode 506. Again, that's in the podcast, Optimal Living Daily. But for now, let's hear a post from Mark as we optimize your life. Seven Behaviors to Stop Tolerating from Others by Mark Chernoff of MarkandAngel.com It is better to be alone than in bad company. Your dignity may be attacked, ravaged, and disgracefully mocked, but it can never be taken away unless you willingly surrender it. It's all about finding the strength to defend your boundaries. The manipulators of the world will test you from time to time to see if you bend. Don't let them intimidate you. When you catch them pushing on you, push back. All it takes is once. And if they get away with pushing you around that once, if they know they can treat you like that, then it sets the pattern for the future. You are stronger than them. Stick up for yourself and stop tolerating. Number one, bullying. Bullying is not okay, period. There is no freedom on earth that gives someone the right to assault who you are as a person. Sadly, some people just won't be happy until they've pushed your ego to the ground and stomped on it. What you have to do is have the nerve to stand your ground. Don't give them any leeway. Nobody has the power to make you feel small unless you give them that power. It takes a great deal of courage to stand up to your enemies, but just as much to stand up to your family and friends. Sometimes bullying comes from the most unlikely places. Be cognizant of how the people closest to you treat you and look out for the subtle jabs they throw. When necessary, confront them. Whatever it takes to give yourself the opportunity to grow into who you really are. Angel and I cover this in detail in the Adversity and Relationships chapters of 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. Number 2. Physical Abuse of Any Kind If you have survived the wrath of a physical abuser and you tried to reconcile things, if you forgave and you struggled, and even if the expression of your grief had you succumb to outbursts of anger, if you spent years hanging on to the notions of trust and faith, even after you knew in your heart that those beautiful intangibles upon which love is built and sustained would never be returned, and especially if you stood up as the barrier between an abuser and someone else and took the brunt of the abuse in their place, you are a hero. But now it's time to be the hero of your future. Enough is enough. Number 3. Supporting Hatred As Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. Regardless of how despicable another has acted, never let hate build in your heart. Fighting hatred with hatred only hurts you more. When you decide to hate someone, you automatically begin digging two graves, one for your enemy and one for yourself. Hateful grudges are for those who insist that they are owed something. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is for those who are strong enough and smart enough to move on. After all, the best revenge is to be unlike the person who hurt you. The best revenge is living well in a way that creates peace in your heart. Read Buddha's Brain. Number 4. Negativity There are plenty of people in this world who will be generous when sharing their negativity and ignorance. And while they may seem quite eager to feed you their rubbish, Please remember, it's not the diet you need. You need positivity, so be cautious with whom you let feed your mind and soul. Do not let the negative opinions of others destroy your inner spirit. 
Throughout your life, you will meet two kinds of people. Those who are a drain on your energy and dreams, and those who give you the energy to pursue your dreams. Avoid the first kind and cherish the second. Number five, lies. If someone fools you once, shame on them. If someone fools you twice, shame on you. If you catch someone lying to you, speak up. Some people will lie to you repeatedly in a vicious effort to get you to repeat their lies over and over until they effectively become true. Don't partake in their nonsense. Don't let their lies be your reality. Remember, an honest adversary is always better than a friend who lies. Pay less attention to what people say and more attention to what they do. Their actions will show you the truth. Read In Sheep's Clothing. Number six, disparaging remarks about your potential. Never let someone's opinion of you wash away your truth. Never sacrifice who you are or what you aspire to be because someone else sees things differently. Sometimes, even your closest confidants will carelessly crush your potential with smiles on their faces. They will discredit your ideas, exhibiting zero emotional support, and inadvertently persuade you to forget part of the person you are, along with the person you are capable of becoming. Don't let weak minds convince you that you aren't strong enough. You are. Number 7. Attempts to decide for you. When you feel out of control or a little lost, it can be tempting to look for someone willing to take charge of your life for you, just to alleviate the pressure. But, before you do, consider this. If you put a collar around your own neck and hand the leash to someone else, you'll have no say about where they lead you in life. When it comes to exercising your inner genius, you must listen to your inner voice. Try what you want to try. Go where you want to go and explore the depths of your own intuition. Don't accept false choices just because someone else doesn't feel what you feel. Don't let others leash your dreams in your future. If something feels right, it probably is. Give yourself the fair chance you deserve. Final thoughts. This is your life. You may not be able to control all the things people do to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. You can decide not to let their actions and opinions invade your heart and mind. And above all, you can decide whom to walk beside into tomorrow and whom to leave behind today. You just listened to the post titled, Seven Behaviors to Stop Tolerating from Others by Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com. You can find their book that he mentioned in this article at MarkAndAngel.com. And like I mentioned at the top of the show, he narrated his own post for us on Optimal Living Daily in celebration of the 500th episode. That whole week, actually, features different authors narrating their own content. Both Mark and Angel participated, which was really cool. You can hear Angel's in episode 501 and Mark's in episode 506. Definitely check it out. Again, that's the podcast Optimal Living Daily. And that's it for this week's episodes. Can you believe it's already been three weeks of this podcast? I can't. It's going super fast. Have a great weekend. Thank you for listening every day and all the way through. And I'll be back on Monday where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.